Okay, in this video we wanted to show exactly how to put on these eccentric locking collars. There seems to be some confusion about that, so I thought I'd make a, a real clear video, hope it'll be clear anyway, on how to do this. So you can see we've got a uh, turf striper roller with the bearing mounted on it already. And uh, this collar, it's cupped on one side and smooth on the other side. Now this cup part matches the outer race of the bearing. And these two circles are eccentric, so they're gonna lock together. So what we'll do is we'll slide this on here and you can see it doesn't wanna go on there, so I'm gonna turn it. Now all of a sudden it clipped on there. So that's the position that it goes, but it still has slop in it. So we have to, we have to get this, uh, take the slop out in the right direction. That's always what the issue is. And the way to figure out how to do that is when this is mounted on your machine and you're going to go that direction the roller will be turning this way so what you do is you you determine which way the roller is going to turn and then you turn the collar the same way until it locks there now i can't i can't rotate it anymore so now the shaft is locked to the inner race of the bearing through this eccentric collar the other part that's so important about this is you notice that there's a blind hole right there and there's a set screw right there. The blind hole is actually used for setting the locking collar or actually locking it to the bearing and the way that that's done is you use a small punch like this and you put this punch in this hole and you want to drive this this locking collar around the shaft you're not pounding it down this way but you're you're going this way so you're actually just driving it around the shaft and then you just hit it with a hammer whoops and it's a good idea to hold on to the punch so it doesn't go flying let me try that again so you see the angle there you give it a smack or two like that and that locks it to the shaft. Then you tighten the, the set screw down. The set screw should never be counted on to hold this uh, collar onto this shaft. It's all about how you, how you set it with the punch. So again, it's the roller is going to turn this way when it's being used. And to set this, you turn it this way. Whoop, you turn this way and you also rotate the collar that same direction until it's tight. See, I can, I can loosen it up by going back this way. So you tighten her up that way, give it a smack or two with your punch, and then, and then uh, tighten the lock nut down, so, or the set screw, I mean. So hopefully that clears that up. Thanks for watching.